Hello there. Welcome to the moment of grace. Today, I want to encourage you that God is not a tyrant. And I'm going to read to you from 2 Timothy and chapter 1 from verses 8 and 9. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the affliction of the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world was formed. You can secure or ensure your journey here on earth in the very love of God. You see, we are being taught to love. We should love this person. We are being encouraged to love. We are being admonished to love. But you need to understand that God is the love himself. Hallelujah. God is love all by himself. He doesn't need to be prayed to or given to for him to love. He doesn't need to be encouraged to love. We don't need to do nothing for him to love. Why we were yes sinner. Christ died for the ungodly. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His love personified. His love himself. The whole concept of love emanated, originated from him. Hallelujah. He cannot be outloved. That is to say, you can't say, you say, I've, I've done this for God. I've done this in God. And I did this and I did that. And it looked like results are not showing forth. You need to settle this journey in the love of God. You need to ensure this journey in the love of God, knowing fully well that you can't outlove him. Glory to God. You see, one major challenge we face in our love work with God is that we might not feel him all the time because we are used to this feely, feely love. And so therefore, we might not feel God. The way you feel other kind of love, you might not feel the love of God that way. It doesn't have to be felt. The love of God is designed in knowledge of God. Glory to God. By the truth that has been reveal, we know that God cannot be wicked. He started the loving. No matter how much we've shown our love to God, no matter how much we've shown our love to the body of Christ, we met him on the journey of love. We met him loving first. So when you don't understand what is happening, you need to know fully, my friend, that God is not a tyrant. You need to hold on to his compassion. You need to develop a strong affinity for God. God's law, and you need to know that all shall be well. It is on this premise the gentleman here was advising the young man Timothy. He said, don't be ashamed of me. Don't be ashamed of Christ. Don't be ashamed of what you believe. You know, most of the time, we want to equate God to things that are seen. The healing that he has done, that we can see. The money uh, he has given. The baby he has given. The husband he has given. No, we can't equate God to those things. With or without those things, God is still love. Faith is not based on evidence. Faith itself is the evidence of the unseen reality. So you need to understand, my friend, today that all will be well because God can never be a tyrant. You need to embrace his love. You may even lock yourself inside and apologize before him and say, God, but I know that you can't be a tyrant. You know, Job was going through challenges and everything was pointing at God being the one punishing Job. His friends were fighting for God. Job was fighting for his own integrity knowing fully well that he was a good man. When God showed up on the scene, we could see that it was Satan that wanted to destroy Job. It was even God that was already fighting for Job before Job knew anything. I want you to understand, my friend, today that God is fighting for you. He's fighting your battle. He's helping you out. There are many hands on deck behind the scene working out your miracle. And I see those miracles coming your way today. In the mighty name of Jesus, those therefore I pray for you for healing in your body. Be healed. That sickness won't kill you. That disability, I command it to disappear. I cause that cancer. I command it to dissolve. In the name of Jesus, I command the spreading to stop now. The swelling to cease now. In the name of Jesus, I command baby to manifest in your womb. I command healing for your sperms. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command financial breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command health. I command wealth. In the name of Jesus, that battle, spiritual battle, you just can make progress spiritually. The work in your hand is not just making progress again. I command help for you. I command your mission blessed. I command the vision blessed. I command your ministry blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the love of God, turn around is brought on your way, in your path, on the works of your hand right now. For so ever it is that you are facing O Zerubbabel as mountain, it shall not stand. In Jesus' precious name. Till I see you next time, the Lord bless you.